All Americans deserve health care, and DACA recipients deserve to have a secure and healthy future in our country. Today, we're here because too many Republican lawmakers on this committee reject this vision and continue to fearmonger, lying to the American people to buy into their twisted thinking. Again, Republicans are holding a hearing to deny 129,000 people health care. Sad. Republicans like to paint a picture of America in crisis. Millions of people lined up at the border, all coming to destroy your way of life. They tell you that if you don't support their policies, the crisis will only get worse. But today, we haven't heard any compelling argument that there's any kind of connection between DACA recipients uh, being provided with health care and our failing immigration system. DACA recipients can't just become DACA recipients to get health care. So let me explain the law. DACA recipients would have had to, one, have come to the United States back in 2007, and two, been younger than 16 in order to qualify today for health care under the Biden administration's proposed rule. Unless migrants who come or who want to come to the United States for health care are going to go back in time to meet those qualifications, this rule isn't going to incentivize any new ones to come to our country for health care. The coverage under this rule doesn't apply to them. Today, I'm disappointed to say that not only has this hearing been disingenuous with the American people, it has wasted an opportunity to go after real waste, fraud, and abuse. It has wasted an opportunity to make our government, our economy, and our country work better. Next time this subcommittee meets, let's do better.